Good Monday morning, I'm Dwayne Nelson. A Tazewell County, Virginia jail inmate is back behind bars. 27-year-old John O'Quinn Jr. was a trustee at the Southwest Virginia Regional Jail when he walked away after taking out some trash. He was in jail facing charges of burglary, being a convicted felon in possession of a firearm and fleeing from law enforcement. He's expected to be charged with escape. Single vehicle crash over the weekend in Kingsport has claimed the life of a Bristol, Virginia man. According to the Tennessee Highway Patrol, 23-year-old Anthony Dwayne Leonard died Friday night in the crash near the intersection of Bancroft Chapel Road and Bloomingdale Pike. Authorities believe Leonard was traveling at a high rate of speed on Bloomingdale when his car ran off the roadway, struck a block retaining wall, and turned onto its top. Authorities said drugs may have played a role in the crash. They're investigating whether or not this was the same vehicle that fled from troopers earlier. Rogersville fire officials are investigating a weekend blaze that destroyed a furniture warehouse. Fire crews were called out to the Furniture Depot warehouse on South Depot Street just before 1.30 yesterday morning. The building had been filled with a new shipment of bedroom suits, couches, chairs, and mattresses. Contents were a total loss. The warehouse did not have electrical service, and there was evidence of forced entry. Investigators will be sifting through the remains this week for evidence of arson. No one was injured in that blaze. Wise County, Virginia man accused of killing a couple and burying them in a shallow grave behind a garage is being held without bond in the Southwest Virginia Regional Jail in Duffield. 39-year-old Mark Edward Coleman is charged with two counts of first-degree murder and the deaths of the unnamed couple, which are believed to be Coleman's father and stepmother. An anonymous tip led authorities to the shallow grave covered with a foot of dirt, cinder blocks, wooden pallets, and a lawnmower trailer. Forensic anthropologists have exhumed the scene and estimate the human remains had been buried about two months ago. No motive has been released at this time. Coleman is expected to be arraigned in Wise County General District Court Wednesday morning. Damage assessment teams from the Federal Emergency Management Agency have gotten first-hand looks at flooded areas in Washington, Carter, and Unicoi counties. It's part of the process to determine if the area is eligible for federal disaster aid. There's an $8.5 million threshold for the area to qualify for federal dollars to help residents rebuild what floodwaters swept away and destroyed last Sunday night. Casa for Kids or Court Appointed Special Advocates found a new home. The new center is on Shelby Street in downtown Kingsport. Executive Director Connie Steer says the new building will help Casa grow with volunteers and also be able to host more meetings. Our goal is to assist um, juvenile courts by providing professionally trained special advocates who are volunteers. Well, if you'd like to volunteer, you can call the CASA office at 247-1161. I'm Dwayne Nelson. Have yourself a great Monday.